A Gloucestershire farmer has a pest problem. Rabbits are ruining his crops. He's called in some hired guns, specialists led by Andrew Beddoes. We manage wildlife, be it from rats right the way through to pigeons, uh, seagulls, mice, flies, fleas, you name it. If it breathes or bleeds, we can kill it. Andrew's going to use a method that's been successful for centuries, ferrets. We're going to use their natural hunting instinct to bolt these rabbits. What's happening here is collars are being put onto the, the, the ferrets. Uh, this is a, a, an electronic lo locating device that will go down to 16 foot and we can actually dig the ferret out if we need to. Uh, it's quite a valuable commodity to us. Obviously, we don't want to lose them if we can help it. So I want this ferret back. <laughs> Armed to the teeth, they now set off in search of their furry adversary. It's a different world out in the countryside. Uh, you wouldn't catch me on, on the streets of a city. Rules that apply in the city quite often don't apply out here. It seems Bugs and his friends have been a bit free with the farmer's fruit trees. If you look at the trees here, at the bottom, where the bark's been chewed off, that's rabbit damage. And as if biting the bark wasn't bad enough, these rabbits are ravenous. They'll eat 500 grams of food a day. So you get 10, 10 rabbits and you're up to sort of five, six kilos every day. Rabbit warrens are dug in a haphazard way with interconnecting tunnels, bolt runs and emergency exits. These are purse nets. We're going to set these over the holes. When the rabbit runs into the net, the net draws into a bag round it and we'll get to them as quick as we can and then we can humanely dispatch it. And it's the ferret's job to make the rabbits run. Sometimes the mere whiff that a rabbit will get of the, the ferret will, will make them bolt. He may look cuddly enough, but it won't be playtime in the warren. We're using this natural hunting instinct to our advantage. While the ferrets hunt below, on the surface, it's a waiting game. It takes a while. Sometimes they'll run straight away. Sometimes it might take a while. If the ferret catches a rabbit before it bolts into a net, it will kill it underground. The two canine teeth, it'll puncture the vertebrae at the back of the, the, the rabbit and it'll kill it instantly. With no sign of rabbit or ferret above ground, there may be a furry fight happening out of sight. We might have to dig, but we'll just hang on a little while and then we'll see if we can locate the ferret using the electronic locator. The ferret has gone to ground. Six foot. <laughs> and he's not moved. They can start digging or change strategy. Basically, we're going to put ferret number two in, um, just to give the other one a, a bit of a hand, see if we can uh, shift it on a little bit. Go on. The lads can only hope they're not throwing a good ferret after bad. He looks like we have to start digging. There's still no sign of rabbits or the two ferrets. Sometimes this can be a bit of a waiting game. Um, yeah, you have to be patient. He's probably chasing a rabbit or two down there, and he's working his way to push them back out. But it isn't a rabbit that comes out first. It's predator number one. If you look at this ferret, you see the blood on his nose. That's where he's got over the top of, the, of a rabbit and actually killed it. The ferret is rewarded with a rest. Well, we'll put him back in the box now. While the lads dig for the victim. Yeah. Voila, but Bugs is still breathing. Andrew's next move is swift and humane. Yep. Yeah. That's what we're here for. What I did was I dislocated his neck. You see how quick it is. The, the death is instant. Sometimes you feel a little bit uh, um, awkward about it, but um, it's got to be done. The second ferret reappears, and his handiwork is soon revealed. We've had four rabbits. Uh, farmer will be happy. The ferrets are happy. The only thing that's not happy is the rabbits. Rabbits were first introduced as a tasty delicacy, and these ones certainly won't go to waste. Take the fat out of the way, and then... In one swift movement, it's gutted. I should take the liver out. As a reward, this is what the ferrets will get. To the victor, the spoils. They, they enjoy that. And Andrew looks forward to enjoying the rabbits too. It could well be my dinner table on Sunday. Damage caused by rabbits runs to around £100 million a year. So a lot of people from the cities, they think that what we've just done is cruel. This isn't cruel, it's a necessity. Andrew heads for home, and today there's no need to stop in at the butcher.